Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kyle Van Voorst with Voorst.com. And today I'm going to share with you a little tool that I've used for years to effectively manage sales reps. So I know what their motivators are, but more importantly, how I can support them in improving their performance. Let's dive right in. Alrighty, so managing sales reps can be difficult, right? We often joke that we're an emotional being, us sales folks, and it's really important as a leader that you have a really good understanding of the motivators or the drivers that each of your reps have, so then that way you can best support them in the environment that you're in, right? So if you have somebody who's struggling to hit quota, you wanna be able to provide the right type of guidance to them, but in order to do that, you should know your reps very, very well. Well, I have a sheet or a tool that I've used for many years to help do this and include something that is pretty unique that I think you're going to love. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And let's jump into the sheet. Okay, so you can see on the left-hand side here, we start with the rep name. The idea is this is a sheet just for you. So you have all of the names of your reps on the left-hand side. And then we're going to go left to right here, filling out key details. So let me walk through it. You can see here, we start off with something called the superpower. Now, this is the unique one that I mentioned. I am very passionate about finding a superpower, so to speak, for every rep on my team. I wanna know what they are uniquely good at, so then that way I can do two things. One, I can help them double down on their strengths, but two, and arguably the most important one, I can make them the point of reference or the point of information for any other rep who struggles in the area that that rep's superpower is. So let me go a little bit deeper there. Let's say you have one sales rep whose close rate is really high and then you break it down and it turns out their stage one to stage two conversion is double everyone else on the team. Well, that means they do a really good job getting people to commit past the first meeting, what are they doing differently? That person's superpower becomes getting the prospect to commit from stage one to stage two. And whenever another rep struggles with it, I just point them to that rep. As opposed to all education coming from me, now educations are starting to come from their peers. And what makes this even better is your top performers often have a weakness that's somebody else's superpower. So even if someone isn't the top performer on the team, they still have something they're incredibly good at that even top performers can learn from. This helps create a really strong team culture. Now, of course, you want this to be as data-driven as possible. So make sure you go through the data and determine what their superpower is. If there's not enough data or the data is a bit unclear, then you could use anecdotal superpowers like they have the best cold call intro or something like that. But I try to use data to back it up whenever I can. <clears throat> all right, so that's the superpower section. That's why it's important. I use this all the time in group meetings, shouting out people for their superpowers. And when questions pop up, I defer to the person who has the superpower in that area. Now, the next one is what motivates them. Everybody's motivated very differently. Are you motivated by promotion? Is it just a money thing? This helps you figure out what levers you can pull to help improve your team's performance. So if you're always doing money spiffs, where it's like, hey, you know, uh, this month, whoever books the most meeting gets 500 bucks or whoever closes the deal the fastest gets an extra thousand dollars. If you're doing spiffs like that, that's great for people who are money motivated. Now, at a certain point, everybody's going to want to hit those metrics in order to achieve the bonus in this case. But what could be even better than that, some people are motivated by having a really strong outside of work life. So what if the prize for one of your performance spiffs, and for those of you who don't know, a spiff stands for Sales Performance Improvement Fund, S-P-I-F. If one of your spiffs is, hey, a vacation for you and your significant other to Hawaii for the weekend, <clears throat> that could be another one. So think about how your folks are motivated. This helps you in a broader sense because you're gonna understand what levers you have to pull with your team, but also individually. So when you're talking to reps and you're one-on-one, -on -one, you're making sure you're aligned with the right motivator. All right, the next one here is where do they want to be? Do they want to be in management? Do they want to be an individual contributor and just make more money? What what position do they see themselves in a year, two years, three years from now? This is going to help you put together plans for each one of your reps to help them get there. And part of that plan is understanding what they have to do to get there. 
Okay. Everybody has a current state and everybody has a future state, an ideal future state. Your job as a manager is to help them cross that chasm, get from where they are today, where, where they want to be. And by understanding where they want to be, and then now what they have to do to get there, you can form that clear plan with the reps that they can execute on and start improving their skills in that area and ultimately make their ideal state a reality. And then finally, what is holding them back from getting to their ideal state? So we have where they want to be. We have what they have to do to get there. What is possibly holding them back from getting there? It might be not uh, dedicating enough time to self growth and self education. It could be that they, um, you know, they come in late every single day, whatever it is. That's a silly one, but you get the idea. You want to understand what's holding them back. You want to write it down here so that that way you have an understanding of what the rep really needs to work on. Now, even though you're not showing the rep this sheet, these last three things should be public to them too. It's a different conversation for a different day, but the sheet is private to you, but the last three columns here very much should be a public dialogue between you and the rep. Alrighty, folks, pretty simple. If you like that kind of stuff, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you watching the video and we'll talk soon.